Hello everybody, Twitch and Nitro here, and welcome to my 1.8 snapshot villager trading video, where I'm going to go through and uh, describe all of the different sort of changes made to villager trading in 1.8. So, <laughs> where do I start? Well, first, as you can see, new villagers will have multiple trades. It's not just a single trade anymore when you come across a villager. It'll have more than one trade available from the get-go. Another thing you've probably noticed is there's more than just five types of villagers anymore. There are 11 different types of villagers. Uh, cleric, librarian, leather worker, butcher, weaponsmith, toolsmith, armorer, fisherman, farmer, fletcher, and shepherd. And each of them sell different things and buy different things. Uh, so there's a lot more variety. Or they would have you believe. Um, it's also a lot less random, unfortunately. Another new thing is after you buy some things, let's just buy a, let's buy everything we can. There we go. You'll notice that I'm getting EXP. That's a new feature. Uh, also, currently, I think this is a glitch. When it unlocks new trades, it doesn't do the green sparklies. There are no green sparklies currently. Uh, I think that's a, a glitch. And there we go. And that's another thing. You can unlock more than one trade at a time. Also, um, the last trade can run out, but um, any trade can any trade can be used to unlock new trades. So not just that you won't have to just trade the last trade. So if you don't want to pay nine emeralds for an iron shovel, you can pay seven emeralds and get yourself some iron axes, and then that'll probably unlock a new trade. So it's a lot easier to fully unlock uh, villagers, and then once they're fully unlocked, there we go. Uh, you can you can trade all of them until it's empty, and then once you exit out, there's a more chance of uh, of dead trades refreshing themselves. In fact, they can self refresh if you make a trade dead. Uh, let's see if I can give an example here. So, if, as an example, let's there we go. This is now a dead trade, and if I e exit out, you'll see particles, and that will mean that the trade is now valid again. It's, it's, I don't know if that's uh, fully intended, or if they're going to nerf that a little. So on to the, uh, the next part of this, just get rid of my inventory, there we go. So. Unfortunately, I've, I've tested this out in a number of different worlds, and it seems that currently all the trades are fixed. So when you have a cleric, when you fully upgrade the cleric, these are all of the trades the cleric will have. You'll have a redstone trade, and the, different, the emerald amount will differ. Uh, sometimes the amount you get out of it will differ. And, uh, and enchantments will differ, but I'll get onto that as we, as we go through. So the cleric really is, is a good villager. Because you now have junk trades. Ah, oh, yes, junk trades. You can trade rotten flesh for emeralds and ender pearls for emeralds. So if you have an ender ender in your world or a, a zombie farm, you can now get rid of all that trash and turn it into precious emeralds. And obviously with the new 1.8 enchanting, you require lapis. And lapis is now a uh, renewable resource because you can trade from it. So all you need to do is get yourself one cleric, and uh, and it it will give you these trades. Uh, that's a hundred percent. And the same with the uh, the librarian here. Sometimes the costs will be different for things, but these are what you'll be getting from it. And then the last, uh, there are three tra book trades you can get, which will have a random enchantment on them, and they'll be the uh, second trade. And then the last two trades will also be book trades. And that seems to be consistent. I don't know if they're going to change that at all. They, I hope that they will, uh, because there's there's no randomness to it. You 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 will always get these trades, and I don't understand that. Uh, right. So leather worker, as you can tell, takes in leather, gives you uh, trousers, the tunic, and also you can get them um, saddles. So horses can be saddled. Um. Moving on, butcher, same same sort of deal. You get food. Uh, this is interesting. The weaponsmith, the axe won't be enchanted, 
but the iron sword, the diamond sword, and the diamond axe will have a random lowish level enchant to them. Probably, uh, they'll probably be randomly enchanted at like 20 or something. I'm not entirely sure about the maths behind it, but they get a random enchantment added to them. Um, oh, another good thing about it is whenever you get to this trade, the diamonds for emeralds, obviously it p in the past, that's a, a that's a dead trade. You, you would hate that villager because you never want to trade diamonds. You don't have to do that anymore, which is which is something good. What happened here? Uh. There we go. <laughs> Sunny days again. Uh, similar thing with the toolsmith. Uh, all of these will be uh, enchanted. You'll get a random enchant on all of them. Um, I happen to have a pretty good uh, iron spade there. And with the armorer, uh, he will trade full chainmail. Um, the only d piece of diamond gear, and this is where I don't like it, the only piece of diamond gear you get is the chest. Back in old 1.7, you could get a full uh, set of diamond armor being traded from a villager, and it would be incredibly OP. <laughs> because you could just get tons and tons of, um, tons of, uh, diamond pieces of armor, and you'd never need to spend diamonds, but that's been changed now because the only piece of diamond armor you can get is the most expensive piece. And obviously, there'll be uh, no enchant, there'll be no enchant on the things, no enchant on that, but there will be a random piece of enchantment on the diamond. Uh, no enchantments on the rest, so you can enchant those to max level however you wish. The fisherman, ah, yes, fisherman. Uh, he takes in string because obviously he needs it to make his fishing rods, and he takes in coal because he needs it to cook his fish. There's a sort of pattern to these things. Uh, he'll give you emeralds, and he can take fish and cook them for you, but obviously cooking them yourself is better. The only real okay trade here, other than the cash ones here, is uh, you can get a fishing rod. So you might want to go through a number of different ones of these if you have a villager breeder. You might want to go for a number of different fishermen to find a good fishing rod. Let's have a look what fishing rod this guy has. Yeah, I'm breaking two lure one. Nothing too special. Uh, my favorite one of the new ones, uh, just because it has so many, is the farmer. The farmer will take in wheat, carrots, potatoes, uh, basically everything you can grow, <laughs> um, which is food related, pumpkins, melons, but melon blocks, which is a shame. Uh, unless you have silk touch. And obviously it is OP to repair things now. So that should be easy to do. Uh, yeah, he'll take in all of those and he'll give you emeralds. And then you get many different food items. You can get pumpkin pies, cakes, apples. So you can make golden apples more easily. And uh, and cookies and, and bread. But you can make those yourself if you want them. Another guy who buys string here is the Fletcher. Now the Fletcher doesn't have an enchantment on the bow. And he offers a absolutely horrible trade almost 100% of the time for flint. Because if you want flint, you just fortune gravel. Why spend the things? And then the last uh, new villager is the shepherd. And that's fairly, uh, fairly easy to explain. You get wool for emeralds. Uh, emeralds, you can buy shears. And then you can buy every color of, of wool. So all 16 colors of wool are all for sale. Some of them cost more, some of them will cost one, but you'll get all of them from him. And it's fairly easy to unlock him as well, you just have to trade a couple of times and then all the 16 wool types you can buy. So as you can see, uh, quite a few good trades. You can't really exploit them anymore except for the sword, the diamond sword and the diamond axe, and the diamond pick and then the, uh, the diamond chest piece. So I think that you know it make it it makes sense. Um, diamonds are now more useful for you, because you you don't you can't just get a really good villager and then exploit it thoroughly. But um, yeah, I, I, overall I like the new trading system, and uh, and I really do like the fact that Lapis has a new ability. But it, it kind of takes the fun out of trading because once you have these eleven villagers, you don't need any more. You might want to go through some. Um, librarians to get different books. They can trade some pretty high level books, I think. You know, yeah, there's a fire protection 4 here, so you can get protection stuff up to level 4, which is pretty pretty funky. So, I hope this has helped you out with your 1.8 
trading questions. Um, it is a lot easier to unlock things now, and once you get yourself a good cleric, you can pretty much get all the emeralds you need. So yeah, I, I enjoy it. And uh, tell me what your thoughts are in the comments section below. Uh, and I shall see you all next time. And remember to leave a like if you found this useful. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Thank you.